We're joined tonight by a very adventurous and most famous Torontonian. Over a period of six years, she made the headlines of every major newspaper and magazine in Canada. She is none other than Terry Jean Bedford, and she's here to share her story with us tonight. Good evening, Terry. It's so great to have you join us. Good evening, Rebecca. Thanks for having me on your show. We are truly delighted. Perhaps you could begin by explaining what a dominatrix is, because there seem to be a lot of myths out there. So maybe you can break those and explain what exactly that means. Well, sure, Rebecca. Um, when I operated my uh, bondage bungalow in Thornhill, the most popular fantasy was cross-dressing. Men, especially older ones, love being put into girdles and corsets and dresses, and this would be accompanied by fantasy role plays, like slave girl or being restrained, whipped, or tickled. And then there's the younger men who like to be punished or put into stocks or straight jacket, and some like being students in a classroom where a mistress would be a strict teacher and spank them in other ways. Um, I had a, a bondage hotel downtown Toronto where couples could rent a suite, and that doubled as a torture chamber with a bed mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. So the reasons for people seeking out such fantasies is they want to regress mm -hmm. to childhood traumas and um, and they uh, as adults and and um, this helps them to come to terms with uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Reliving um, those traumas, and I see the same thing in therapy as well. So very well put. You had quite an incredible set in your bondage bug law. Now you've described a few of the things there, but one thing is for certain that that was not in any, there was no sex going on. But despite that, the police tried to imply that it was a body house. Can you tell us a, a little bit about how that turned out and how that made headlines? Well, yes, Rebecca. Like I said, I offered fantasy role play mm -hmm. for relief of anxiety. And it allowed my clients to regress mm -hmm. and get the kinks out of their system. Mm -hmm. uh, we refused to offer sex acts, mm -hmm. so it was not a body house. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, nevertheless, I was raided. I was not raided in Toronto, despite uh, the publicity and the mm -hmm. nature of my establishment. Um, that's um, what they did in Thornhill was mm -hmm. overkill. Absolutely. And um, it's interesting because people don't seem to make that distinction because, I mean, you are playing in those Jungian shadows as these people are regressing and people just don't seem to get it, but they wanted to make news. But you took that opportunity and you turned it around to make a difference. Can you please share that with us? That was really exciting news. Well, I had a lot of help doing that, Rebecca. Um, there are are 12 people I mention in my book mm -hmm. who contributed financially um, or they um, knew people that could help. They helped with lawyers and paperwork. The, the, it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it alone. Yes, you definitely had support. I mean, I was fascinated by reading your book, Dominatrix on Trial, right from beginning all the way through, and some of the hypocrisy, but still you had a lot of support as well. It was great to see. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about what exactly the book covers? Well, first of all, Rebecca, I was considering writing a series of books about my life. Mm -hmm. It's so extensive, uh, my personal, professional, mm -hmm. and my legal battles. However, the editors at iUniverse thought it'd be um, unfair to leave the reader and the buyer of the book in suspense. So mm -hmm. I covered all aspects in one book. I tried to explain the whys of everything and talk about the many fascinating people I've run across in my life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And also, uh, your life, I mean, it's so fascinating. So in a way, it's great that it's all in that book because I was, I've been following the news and I really wanted to know who Terry Jean Bedford is. And, and reading that book just moved me in so many ways. Um, how can our audience grab a copy of that book? 
Oh, thanks for asking, Rebecca. Well, here in Toronto, you can go to Chapters, Indigo, or Cole's Bookstore, or you can go to my website, dominatrixontrial.com. You can find out how to order the book as an e-book. Also, um, the website has links to other websites of mine where Mm -hmm. information on the current prostitution laws are being struck down. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's also available. Or they can just do an Internet search of my name, Terry Jean Bedford, and uh, there's a wealth of material. Absolutely. Uh, lots and lots of stuff you've done. Now, can we go back to the trial? Can you please tell us how things turned out? Oh, Rebecca, well, right now we're waiting for the decision. We're waiting for the judges to come back with the decision on the appeal. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, we'll decide where to take it from there if we win. I'm sure the federal and provincial government will appeal it to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it's still ongoing. I was hoping that we would have, um, we, we would, you would be able to share a result with us this evening, but I guess we're still sort of waiting on it. And you've done so much, so much to make people aware of the unsafe conditions that a lot of sex workers um, end up in. Can you just, before you go, briefly comment on that as well? What you're hoping to do there? Well, once um, the stay is lifted, women will have control over their bodies and protection mm-hmm. and safety and security of their person. Mm-hmm. And um, that goes a long way. Absolutely. It, do, it does indeed. It, 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 it's like a, an emancipation for sex trade workers mm-hmm. and others. Uh, every single Canadian will benefit it, from these laws being changed. In many, many ways. And that's oh, why yes. I applaud you because it, it's very difficult to change something like that. But I really applaud you that you take charge, nature. It's not just a persona, uh, but actually that's who you are. It was such a pleasure chatting with you, Terry Jean. Thank you so much. You're a leading voice in these matters for Canada. And we're just going to have to have you back once you hear the outcome of the trial. Thank you again. We wish you lots of luck with your book. Thank you, Rebecca. Good night. Good night.